Okay, I finished building the the ogre catapult, and as you can see, I'm doing this in the shade because the sun is facing towards me, and I used a cat cut, which I cut out the cut off the ridges and put tape on it because even sanding it wouldn't make it dull. But I'm not going to be using tennis balls after all. I'm going to be using um, golf balls. So I'm going to I'm going to fix the cup so it's smaller so to so it adjusts to fit the size of the golf ball. And originally I made my design off off this one, the ogre, uh, from stormthecastle.com, and he had directions on how to build it, as you can see right here, and all you really need is just those pieces and um, a bungee cord or something. I have to use a bungee cord since I can't use a spring because in the Science Olympiad rules it says that, uh, let me find it. Oh, it says construction 3A. The launching pores must be supplied by non metallic, which means no springs, plastic, solids such as wood, rubber, plastic. Um, well, we got. Part of it got cut off, but elastic bands, bungee cords, rubber tubing, etc. Um, and I needed mine to go bet between 2 and 10 meters because I'm in Division C, which is high school division. And um, this design, the it's like the goblin, except I. put this thing on top rather than the stopper on, no not the stopper, the uh, place where the bungee cord um, pulls down on in order to get, and it hooks onto here in order to get potential, in order to get, and it hooks onto here in order to get potential energy to get this to lift up. And let's see. I added washers on the on the end of this, so and a nail to keep it from sliding back and forth. And the same on the other side uh, for the same reason. And I used a half inch half inch dowel and just cut a hole in the middle of this. And as you can see, the pivot point is on. Um, the holes in the on the sides rather than in the arm because it seemed to move more freely that way and it's stronger that way um, but originally um, the goblin design had a stopper uh, had had like a stopper right here except uh, I think it was, yeah, it was raised up, and the uh, elast elasticity would um, pull down on this when you're when you're trying to attach it to here and pull it back. So it was ripping it off the hinges, and originally, as you can see the, can you see the hole? Yeah, the hole right here, that was from, and the hole right here is from the original. Um, wood piece that I had on but it ripped off from uh, the pressure but it, I think it really ripped off because um, because we had originally Gorilla glued Gorilla taped this piece on just to test it and it worked very well so we had to cut another stabilizing beam so um, Newton's uh, second law every action 
action has an equal and opposite reaction, so whenever this hits it, what it would do is bounce back and for for screwing in uh, you have to screw a nail let's see if I can find it. the nail right here through the end and um, it's the nail the screw I mean stuck out stuck out a bit so right around here and I had to cut it off and there's a little metal piece there because I cut it off with um, with this it's just a it's just a Dremel saw I use it for robotics and just spins around and cuts things like this this one can actually cut metal with this piece on it and but any steel blade or anything will cut wood because it can go up to 35,000 RPM and after I cut off the piece of course I had to sand it so let me see where is it somewhere right around here yeah um, I had to sand it with this and there's a flat side and a smooth side and really it's not that it's not that hard to build it's just you need the proper materials you also need a big um, bandsaw that that can rotate or a skill saw if you're if you can cut it smooth but usually it doesn't cut it very smooth um, but you have to make sure the pieces are all the right lengths and this catapult barely fits into the science olympiad um, requirements because it has to be um, it has to be 60 cent 60 centimeters for division C in every direction because it's a cube and and okay I think I'm done explaining um, just besides I guess you could use a use a protractor to measure the angle because originally the whole reason why we uh, wanted to move the stop back is down is because um, when it was up here the angle was about 55 degrees and when it's right about here it's really close to 45 degrees and you want 45 degrees for the maximum distance since it's a compromise of the x and y axis and well and the angle goes down the higher you up higher you are up from the ground it's about for every meter it's about 0.4 degrees lower okay so I'm gonna attach the um, bungee cord to it I could attach more to make it go farther but now I'm just showing you how it works it would go a lot farther if it was um, if it was on smooth ground but I had to do it on here because the lighting's not very good since the sun's shining at me right now uh, and I think I already told you what these weights are for but this catapult recoils because it's powerful and just recoils like any other catapult um, and yeah I'm just going to connect it now Okay. I should have bring I should have bring the arm up, but yeah, that's why it was hard to pull down. And